Yeah, so coming up today, we are going to have an interesting conversation. And I don't know how each of you feel about it. Mm. Um, one of the days where we watch uh, movies and yeah. we see this beautiful, lovely woman, great personality. And today, she gets to come on the table of life. Yep. So um, I will do the introduction. And then afterwards, I'm going to play a video for you to know whom we are actually talking about. So today's guest, we are catching up with a veteran actress, and her presence in the Ghanaian movie space has been very, very important. I mean, especially when it, com when it, when it came to the establishment of the local movies in Ghana, Kumiwood. And this woman has that, done a lot of things. She is, she's close to 40 years in the industry. That's not a surprise. He's like, huh? Yes, mm -hmm. close to 40 years. And this year, she turns 57. And if you see her... And the age, I mean. Anyways, let's take a look at this video. When we come back, we'll continue with the discussion. This phone has to be big. Your sister is dead. You won't think of how to bury her. You are thinking of mass and mass. Are you crazy? <coughs> oh, Uncle, what is wrong with you? Uncle, Uncle, speak one. Oh, Uncle, are you crazy? Stop it! Bring the man's seat. I'm talking about you. Hey, you are getting crazy. Hey! Uncle, stop it! Hey! Hey! Hey, stop it! You are fooling all of me. Yes. <laughs> My sister is dead. You give me plenty of money. I'll give you money to do the funeral. Give me money. See the elders. I'm coming. Yes, come, let's talk. I don't need water. I'm okay. This funeral has to be big. Your sister is dead. You won't think of how to bury her. You are thinking of mass and mass. Are you crazy? <laughs> oh, Uncle, what is wrong with you? Uncle, Uncle, speak one. Oh, Uncle, I need to stop it. Bring the man's seat. I'm talking about you. Hey, you're getting crazy. Stop it! Hey! Hey! Stop it! You're fooling all You can kill the rest, not Divina. Nobody kills Divina. Nobody. Bring the dollar. That is what I'm saying. Bring the dollar I gave you. Don't Sheye na wanka sense ya mini pa abua mimi ye mimi ye bunsamba mimi ye bunsamba give me the money where you dollar now me bo asun bibi be si so i'm telling you i'm not joking give me the dollar pa 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 ma yo yo ya ba ba Next time, don't try me. Next time, don't try me. And as I'm going, if anything happens to me, I'll burn this whole house. You can cheat anybody, but not Devina. Eh? Oh yeah, make her on your money good. 
Now I can't go. Like I said, today's guest, we are catching up with a veteran actress, and um, her presence in the Ghana movie space has been very, very important uh, when, it, when it came to the establishment of local movie, and she entertained us. Uh, the little that we got to experience, it was fun and entertaining, and it was everything in between. Today, our guest is Irene Opari, and it's such a pleasure, such a great opportunity to have you on our table of life to talk to you. Good afternoon. You don't sit down and walk. You look good. You look yeah. good. I said you'll be turning 57 this year. Is it true? Yeah. Ah, I got 57. <laughs> right. Yeah. 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 She doesn't look like it at all. Wow. You don't look Grace, like Grace, it. Grace, oh, Grace. Yeah. We'll be Grace. catching up with her. And like you can see uh, in, in her shirts, like Clean Mama. Yeah. It's an yeah. uh, initiative that she does. She embarks on. So we'll talk about that and many more. Like I, st I stated earlier on. Your presence in the movie industry has been a lot. And I, I hope we all get to exhaust all our questions. Yeah, yeah, I have yeah, a lot. Course. She has a lot. He has a lot. And then we'll put everything in between. Yeah. But then, being in an industry for almost close to 40 years. Almost 40. Years. 40 yes. Yes, 40 years. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm quick to ask. I wasn't wondering. But then I want to, <laughs> I want to find, I want to ask you. First of all, which, what made you get the interest in pursuing acting uh, as a career back then? Because in 40 years, it will be 1980 something. Yeah. yeah. So what, where did the interest come from? Wow. wow. Okay. Um, in fact, you, you, in one of the movies, that's The Mask, you mm -hmm. saw me acting with my brother. That's my big brother. That's your brother mm -hmm. for Yeah, real. that's my brother. But he was my uncle in The Mask. Okay. But that's my, my big brother. Mm. Oh. It's William O'Pari. Yeah, 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 sure. He sure. introduced me into acting. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, growing up, I wanted to be in the army. I wanted to be a soldier. Okay. Yeah, I loved. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I loved. Yeah. I loved. Yeah. I loved their uniform. I loved everything about the army. So my father says, "No, you can't." Oh yeah, we will them. That kind of mentality. Yeah. yeah. It's like anybody who goes into the army is like you're going to handle guns. They will shoot yeah. you. Yeah. That kind of thing. Mm. So he didn't want me to. So I found myself just acting in one of the churches and. They realized that, wow, you can do this at a very, very young age. Very mm. young age. I'm talking about like 14, 15, you know. Okay. Very, very young age. So we started doing Thursday theater on GBC. Thursday theater, you okay. remember? Yeah. So I started acting on Thursday theater. And then finally, my brother said, come on, let's go to the uh, former, then Parliament House in Accra somewhere. They had this educational unit. Okay. Yeah. So they, they were employing uh, performers. Yeah, to come and work there. And we were one of the people who, anywhere former, may he so rest in peace, uh, President Rollins went. Mm. We were the advance party who went there first okay. to do a sketch on whatever he was coming he to was talk, about. talk about. Yeah, the whole Ghana. I've visited everywhere in Ghana, wow. most places in Ghana, because mm. we go there before Rollins comes. You know, you know. So we were the first people who did a sketch on one vote, one vote, why we should vote for democracy. Okay. Why we should vote. Yeah, we took it around the whole Ghana. I was doing more of stage productions, mm. more of stage. Mm. So, um, uh, one of the directors of the National Theatre, William Ado, okay. yeah, yeah. called me and said, We are doing Firestorm. I think you can play the Queen Mother. Come. So, I played the Queen Mother and he said, Can we employ you at the National Theatre? I was like, Why, Why not? not? <laughs> Game, let's go. Yeah. So, I was employed at the theatre. So, I started working with the National Drama Company and we, we traveled every. Like we went for Everybody. festivals in Egypt, America, wherever. Hey. Started traveling wow. with yeah on stage representing Ghana with theater. That was it. On the back of that, I'm tempted to ask in in, in terms of acting in the 90s, what made acting lucrative for someone to say I'm um, I'm venturing into it? That's a good question. Mm. It wasn't lucrative. It wasn't lucrative. It was. Passion driven. Passion driven. Oh, okay. okay. It was passion because okay. I walked from my home to uh, art center to for rehearsals to perform on stage. Nobody pays you a dime. So it was passion. Passion. We followed our passion. Mm. We loved it. I loved acting. Apart from me, me, I, I, I was being paid because I was working with the National, National Theatre. Theater. Okay. You, know, you are being paid I don't know, yeah. every month. But before working with the theatre, we were going to the art centre for rehearsals and all. Nobody is paying you. It's passion, you know. So, and then I started movies. 
Yeah, from stage. So I always say that uh, those who act movies, if you have not gone through stage, mm -hmm. there's a difference between the stage. Yes. Yeah. When you look at all the stars, those who have done stage, yeah. you see a difference between them and those who did not do stage and went straight into Just movies. Went straight into the movie. Yeah. 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 What, 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 do you think that it has been worth it? Do you sit down and say, okay, yeah, it's been worth it, or you, you, you sometimes think that you should have uh, taken another path? No, it's, it's been worth it, because mm. I always say that I don't regret anything I do in life. Okay. Because at any stage, any point in, type of, in time in my life, it's God who takes control. It's God who takes me through that journey. So I've never regretted anything I have done. Mm. Never. I don't have regrets. If you ask me what, what are some of your regrets... Since the one I was born, I've not had any regret to today. Mm. Everything I have done in the past is it has to happen and it's happened and that is it. That is it. I move on and that is it. I don't regret anything. So it's been, it was my passion. It was and it, it has paid because I always say that it has made me who I am. Maybe if I wasn't an actress, if I didn't go through that, I wouldn't be doing this project Clean Mama. Okay. I won't have this concept because mm. I am a very creative person. And it comes from all these, you know. So it's been it's been good. It's been good. Okay. Yeah. And uh, was there a time you because from what you're saying, it uh, looks as if you didn't even face any form of challenge here and there. But I want to know if you faced any form of rejection at any point, and if you did, how you you overcame it? I would like to. So okay, rejection in what way? In okay, my job, so in, yes, in your okay. acting career, maybe there was a time uh, you wanted to add a particular role. Maybe you went for an audition. Maybe they said, "Oh no, okay. we don't like you." Face as some form okay, of rejection. Okay. Not really, because okay. if you look at my movies. Mm -hmm. Most of the roles I've played, I've, I've acted more than 100 movies. Yeah. I've lost count. Mm -hmm. So most of the roles I've played, they are all major roles, lead roles, mm -hmm. most of my movies. Mm -hmm. It's like people look at me and write the script. <laughs> you know, so any role I have played, I always tell people, any role I have played from day one, the role is for me. It's like they wrote it for me. They wrote it's it like their role is mm. yours. I mean, <laughs> because one, I'm very tall. I always tell Yvonne Nelson, my daughter, that Yvonne, watch out. I'm taller than you are, no matter what you do. I'm, I'm very tall. I am different. You know, so it's like it got to a point they were even typecasting me. Okay. They were giving me roles that were similar. Where, where yeah. like, and, and people always say, I mean, this one, you are playing you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's like I'm playing me. Yeah. Because, uh -huh. So most of the roles are for me. You know, before right. we didn't have social media. Yeah. So if you are going to be as if you are a star, it means you are you earn it. You earn right. it. You have yeah. worked yeah. for it. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Mm. And it's it's good you mentioned yeah. there was no social media. Yeah. For now, people get criticized on their mm. Instagram page right. if they acted the role or anything. Back then, did you get negative comments from Fine. your actors? Back then. I'll be in town. I was in I was driving in town some time ago after acting in an arm robber in police officer. And then I saw a car pass, and there were children in the car, a woman and the two kids. They started shouting in the car. I said, what's going on? I didn't understand. So the woman was stopping me. I said, okay, let me stop. Around Laboni there. I was living around Laboni. Okay. So I stopped, and the woman got down and came, brought the boys. Come, she won't do anything. Come. I said, what's going on? And she said, they said you're an armed robber because we watch police officer. <laughs> So I had to hug these boys, explain to them mm. it's just a movie. Mm. They invited me for dinner at home. Oh, wow. Yeah. I had to go to that length, you know. Sometime ago, I was walking through Makola Streets, mm -hmm. doing some few shopping. A woman saw me. Hey, I didn't know you were to say, hey, you know, those are the stuff we were getting. Yeah. So it was like people criticize when they see you. Mm. Yeah. Uh -huh. They are like, yeah. oh, we are a collaboni bi waha, we are mm. robber, then oh, yes, sir. And they start, you know, that kind of thing. But it was it was all fun for me. It was it was part of the job. Tristan, when, when, mm. you, when you talk about social media, and I mean, in, in present times, people have the talent, and even on TikTok, all of those platforms, they could just put one thing there, and the next moment, they are being recruited into yeah. the movies. Exactly. Have you been following the movies of, of you know, present times, you know? Or, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. I've still, um, I've been acting. You're still in it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I've acted in Yvonne Nelson's 50-50. Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember yeah. she was here. I was here yeah. for yeah. I even finished Yvonne's movie two weeks ago. Oh, that's great. Yeah, so... Right now, it's just like you, you. If you give me the script, it has to be a very good script. Yeah, mm. yeah, yeah. What would you tell as a good one? <laughs> <laughs> good scripts should be um, um, nice story. You know, ready to put money in it, get 
beautiful locations, beautiful costumes, mm. actors should be on point. You know, I mean, that's a good script. If you, the story first should be, should and be then good. who is shooting, who is directing, who is, you know, that kind of, I look at all that. Because, all yeah, that. Who, who, are, who are, if you say I'm going to play a mother, who is my son's Son. show. The last 50-50, my mm -hmm. sons were, were John Dumelo Dems. And, you know, so, <laughs> so I look at all the actors in there. I look at the script in particular. Mm. You can't give me a script that you want me to go nude as I sit here. No way, I won't play it. Mm. You know, I need challenging roles. I mean, roles that, you know, that, yeah. But if you, were, if, you were, if you were younger, would you have done it? No. no nude, I, don't I wouldn't. Mm. I always tell the young people coming that internet will not forget, doesn't forget. Yeah. You go mm. new today, tomorrow you want to stand okay. for a position and they'll play it to you. Yeah. You know, so let's be careful of what we do. And I tell the young people, you right now, you have internet, you have social media, use it positively <laughs> to make money. Use it positively to make money. No, but the answer to you would yeah. be that we are actors, we need to portray as it is supposed yeah. to be. Fine, portray it, but don't go new. Do you know what? I have, I did a, a production on stage with David Donto. I was working with David mm. at the theater. We did uh, uh, um, something about Adam and Eve, the four. Right. I played Eve. David Dunter played Adam. Adam. The late Abiyo played God. You know, so it's like God created Adam and Eve in, in the in Garden of Eden. Yeah. Yeah. And then we found ourselves in stage. We were wearing very light leotards, tight and leotards. To the skin, yeah. Mm. So, like modern body con. Yes. Yeah. So Very everything was showing. Everything yeah. was showing. Mm -hmm. they, they, they drew my nipples. They everything, but it, I was in clothes. Mm. You know, the whole body on stage with the lights. You think I'm not wearing anything? I was in clothes. So that's it. It's nude, but I was I was covered mm -hmm. in leotards, tight and leotards. Yeah. Okay. You know, so David too was wearing the same thing, and they had the drawing of the balls and all that, and you know, and we were on stage, Adam and Eve, like the way God created us, yeah. and yeah. God came and calling us. We we took uh, some uh, leaves, leaves to cover and covered, it, covered yourself. Stage, the fall, beautiful production. Mm. Mm. That's what I'm talking about. So you can you like kissing. People ask me. Mm -hmm. So all the cases you've done in the in the in the yeah. movies, do you really kiss? I say no. You have to be an actor or one of the crew members to know that we don't kiss real. Some kiss real. Yeah. I have never kissed real. You know. So okay. when you touch the lips, when the lips touch and you turn the head, the camera plays the trick. And it's kissing That's it. for me. Most of I honestly things. want to see those things because it's been <laughs> right. said and I, I can't understand. And I'm sitting here, I have kissed in a lot of movies, mm. but I have not kissed real. Not mm. mouth, mouth. If tight mouth, look, as you sit here, if I close my lips mm. and we touch lips, yeah, yeah. you turn the camera, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like kissing. Yeah. Oh, okay. but you know, yeah. sometimes I tend to believe it because yeah. if you check the Korean series, right. the, them they don't kiss, yeah. they yeah. just but touch. They the yeah. But then, okay. But, so it's true, and that's uh, all the kissing I've done. I always tell people, I cannot kiss anybody for real yeah. in the movie. <laughs> are you my... Hey, uh, my mind <laughs> now. Uh, right. Now people are, are doing kissing. it. Hey. No, even people fall in love. Uh -huh. even people even fall in love yeah. on sense. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, people fall yeah. in love. Okay. But it, it also looks We like are human, mm. you know, so... Yeah. yeah <laughs> okay. You were talking about uh, them making roles to fit you at a point in time. Most of yeah. your roles uh, were coming to you because they feel like, okay, you can shoot in this. So yeah. that's to say you also didn't really get some challenging roles along the line because I want to know that was there a point where you faced some roles uh, that you're supposed to have and you said oh no this one there is not like me like as you gave even an instance of kissing that you don't kiss maybe there was a role uh, that uh, was pretty difficult and you had to find your way through it to act no not really I, I did not get okay maybe one one but I didn't mm. really get it was just one of the scenes in um God lost prostitutes that I had to act with a, a particular guy. And I said, no, they should bring him. I had to hug him to make sure he's smelling good. I to to him. And I realized, no, 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 no. So I realized he wasn't in a very good perfume. So I told the producer, I can't do with this. If you can change the character, I'll play. If you don't, I won't. Yeah, play. so I, I, I left and then he changed the character. He gave me another That's crazy. And that character was fine. Yeah. Okay. Uh, wow. Yeah. Uh, but wow. I also so, want to know, yeah, you continue. No, let's go. <laughs> How important is the role of a director in an actor's life? In an actor's life, yeah. mm. a director is, 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 I would say, it's like 80% important. Very, very. Because, you see, the director has the script. He knows what he wants from you, the actor. The actor, you give me a script, I read it, I study my character. Mm. If I'm supposed to play a market woman. 
I know that okay, market women are on TV. I know so no much mm -hmm. right. no yes, no yes. So okay, I research and do my research and then know what to play. But the director knows what he wants. Yeah. So the director should bring out of me what he wants. Exactly. So if I do it and he doesn't want it, he will let me know that I really know I, I, this side. And you should be more angry than this. You should play then. That's it. But if you don't get a good director, and one said there will be another one. Okay, that's all right. Let's move Meanwhile, on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Meanwhile, be a honor. You have to play different. So I, I love directors, very good directors, to direct me because they bring out something from you. And later, when you see that you watch the thing, you are like, wow. I mean, I'm it here is we, right. It's so beautiful. So yeah, you really need a director, a very good director. Okay, so we are spending time with Irene Opari, aka Clean Mama. We'll get to the Clean Mama part. So then we are going for a quick commercial break. You are still watching Entertainment TV on Metro Television. Welcome back. It's still entertainment review on a Metro Television, and we are spending time uh, catching up with veteran actress Irene Opari. And in, in case you missed the first section, don't worry. We are now coming to talk about industry stuff. But then before we delve into industry, when you were acting back then, what were the acting or the industry standing on? Was it the effect or the effectiveness on the of the industry? What was it on? Was it the talents, the actors? Was it the content or the production? Okay, I'll say the three. Okay, See, because you need to get very good actors. Content should be good. Mm -hmm. Production wise, should be also good. good. Mm -hmm. You know, it, it plays with the three. You need all these three on the table. Yeah. Yeah. But back then, I'll say the actors really made the movie. Yeah, I was. Yeah, yeah it's the, the actors. actors made the actors yes. made the movie, yes. yeah. and there were yeah. lots. Yes. Yeah. The yeah. actors lots made them. the movie, and most of us had the passion for it. The passion mm -hmm. for it. Yeah, it wasn't a, people are not getting it. The, 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 the money bit. Money. The money bit is because you have to work, and when you work, you need <laughs> to get paid. What's yeah. the highest amount you, you, you got? You see, um, um, the money bit. Mm. I always. Some of the veterans always talk about. Back then, we were not being paid well. Mm. It was peanuts. I always told them I, I beg to differ. It's not true. I won't say it's not true. Maybe for them. But what I will say is, whatever that we were giving, look, if, if, if 40 years ago, 30 years ago, you did a movie and you were giving, like, in fact, like today, 100 cities. Back then, it was money. Yeah. Right. 40 years ago, 30 yeah. years ago, 100 yeah. cities. It's big money. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. So they should not compare it to today. As right. they say, they say, no, yes, yeah, 50 cities, cities yeah. 20 cities, now they're not in Yesika. And Yesika, ne. But at that time, you know, it was money. It was money. You could have saved it to do something because it was money. So I always tell them, say, no, no, no. Whatever money that were being paid at that time, you know, it was money. Yeah. You, do you get disappointed saying? seeing some of them always. You know, in the space, and of course, it will generate public discourse and conversations about mm -hmm. veteran actors and always, you know, those kind of things. I won't say disappointed. I feel sad. Mm. I feel very sad when I see some of them, you know. But Charlie, it's life. You can't run away from life's stuff. You know, it comes. It will come. It will come. I mean, you never know. If somebody's one has come today. You never know what will happen to you tomorrow. So we all try to help. Those of us who can help try to help behind the scenes, you know. Mm. So we try to help. I feel sad most of the time, but Charlie, it's yeah. life. It, it is what it is. is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But but if I, you, yeah. Frank, Helen, I mean, uh, you have been in this industry for almost 40 years, like you mentioned. And I want to know along the line, did you even have a critic or someone like, uh, more or less, like one most prominent? Critic, who has that person be? Did that help you in shaping your career up till today? Yeah, yeah. Like um, those days, uh, I remember Nana Benin Datsen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Was one of the yeah. entertainment critics. Yeah. You know? yeah, he will he will criticize, and sometimes he will even call you to let you know, say, "We we we, you know, you know that kind of thing." Yeah. It was it was cool. You know, when you are if when you are uh, let me say an actor. Um, you should be ready for some of these things. And yeah, it should not really push you. You should learn out of it. Mm -hmm. Learn out of it. So we had, we had, we had Nana being that same. We had, um, okay, some, a few of them. 
Yeah. And did that help uh, your career in, in a way? It did. It did because they will say stuff and you have to read it or listen to it and you know that hey, mm. Yampo, you have to build on yourself. You have to build upon what they say. And it pushes you up and that's it. Yeah. You're I always ready for that. I don't really think it should be a problem, a problem. for any celebrity mm. or any uh, actor or anybody that so, if somebody criticizes you, yeah. you, you feel offended or really? no, 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 no. Take it and take something from what the person is saying. Yeah. If it's all negative, me and Boami and me Boegu, me if you, I bet Boami so I may pick it up and then build on it and build move on. on. Yeah. Close to 40 years, you have said that you are well pleased, you are satisfied, no regrets. As an industry, can we also say we have accomplished what we set our eyes on? Are we satisfied as to how the industry is now? <laughs> Industry, there we are not satisfied. Definitely, we can't say we are. I mean, everybody knows the movie industry in Ghana is way, way, way mm. down below the belt. I mean, oh, but for for like few years now, yeah. it's, it's picking up. It's, yeah. yeah, let me say like five, six years. Yeah, yeah, it's it's really picked up, mm. and we hope it gets better. Yeah, it has to. It has to. That's our hopes. But but let me take but let me take you back a bit. You see, sometimes we now. We envision ourselves in the future. We anticipate that, oh, in the next couple of 20 years, 10 years, we'll mm -hmm. be here, we'll be there. What were some of the foresights? What were some of the predictions that yourself and your fellow actors and actresses envisioned to see how Ghana will be come 40 years? Back then. Back yeah, then. With the industry. With the industry. industry. Like, I want to understand what, when you sit down with them and you talk, how the movie was, the movie business was thriving. Most people were not being paid as they were expecting, but then they were comfortable. What were some of the things that you predicted or envisioned that come 20 years, come 30 years, Ghana movie industry has to be here, has to be doing this? What, what were some of the predictions? Okay, okay. We, 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 we knew that. Ghana industry will be bigger than it was before because growing up, even as a human being, you know that, Charlie, in five years' time to come, I'll be mm. here, I'll be yeah. there. So that one, it was there. You know, but what we lacked was coming together as, as a, a family, a, a, family, a united mm. front. A united front to fought ahead. Mm. We lacked it. It wasn't there. It was like, yeah. You know, it was like everybody, each one for himself, yeah, for us, for us all. kind of, you know. <laughs> so we didn't really have any strong union. I Becca said, Charlie, this is actors' guilt. Yeah. This is so let's move it. Mm. It was just there. We just go for meetings. Now you're doing. You know, that kind of thing. So there wasn't like, we coming together together Thinking about the industry, say mm. ten years time, twenty years time. What are we expecting? What mm. should the Ghana movie? Uh, industry, uh, uh, like where be should it like? be? Like, <laughs> <"Dabi, dabi, dabi." laughs> <laughs> I think that's so what you know, those were. So it wasn't yeah. really. We are not really a strong force. Yeah. yeah, I think that's where the criticism comes in when we are talking about other stakeholders helping like government yeah. and say that oh the, the organizations like the five packs yeah. and all of those with the today we are in courts tomorrow we are like this mm -hmm. you know all of those things do not really help show up what we want to achieve yeah. and um, well but you see if government yeah. too had come in mm -hmm. it would have helped yeah because let me tell you even in Krumah Pam in Krumah's time mm. eh, the concert party people Pam in Krumah did a lot for them yeah mm. Even when Kwame Nkrumah was traveling, he goes with some of the concert party people. Let's go. When Project Ghana. You know, so if the government had come in, yeah. would, would have You also helped. mentioned Rollins also. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. You see, so if governments, if, if governments pay attention to this creative industry, it will really go a long way. And it will bring big revenue to Ghana. Yeah. Anytime I travel outside Ghana on the ticket of, uh, like, National theater going outside Ghana to do something to a festival and or to do something for Ghana. Sometimes we are the only blacks. And project look, sometimes I'm even in a festival doing something, even the top that I'm wearing, if it's African print, a white guy wants to buy it. A mm -hmm. top, a white guy wants to buy it to wear. <laughs> but it's African print. Yeah. Right? You know, so projecting Ghana. So I realized that if this if governments will 
people themselves help the creative industry. Serious revenue for the country. Serious. But they don't see it like that. Yeah. So, yeah, that is why we are where we are. But are you united now at this very moment? Are like we united? Yes. Yeah. And there's Actors Guild. There are a lot of guilds. Yeah. Yeah. But does that mean it's unity? Because right. you could have all those uh, units, but then they still not unity. Okay, okay. But you heard him say that mm -hmm. they go to court. If you court. Uh, <laughs> court. Court, court, court. There's, right. there's even the okay. NFA. Well, mm -hmm. there's, let's talk about uh -huh. the, yeah. the right. industry. Look back at that. Look at that. And and yeah, film, it's always back and forth. And all of that. Yeah. I said, we are in BBO. I said, just yeah, say, I don't know. Okay. <laughs> I, I guess in a bit, we're talking about clean mama. Right. Uh, yes. It's, it's, it, it shall be well. I would say it will get better. It will get better. Will get better. Will get better. Yeah, get but until when? Oh, it will. It will. It will. It will. It will. Let's talk about Clean Mama. Okay. Mm -hmm. How you birthed the whole initiative wow. and what was the purpose or the aim for that project? Okay. Let me say for about 10, 12 years ago, yeah, I had a dream. One night sleeping, I had a dream. And in the dream, I saw myself on TV with a lot of people doing cleanup, you know, massive. So I was like, ah, what am I seeing in the dream? So I watched the whole thing play in the dream. And I woke up around 2.30 a.m. to go to the washroom. I woke up, went to the washroom, came back and wrote all that I dreamt about mm -hmm. in a book. Okay. 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 So after writing, I fell asleep. After writing, I, I, I didn't know the heading, the title for what I was doing. Yeah, I didn't know the name, like Clean Mama. No. I just saw Clean Up, you know. So I wrote it. And I did the name, question mark. I did title, question mark. And I slept. And I continued the dream. Oh, when you went back, you continued. You wrote and continued. Wow. The then this one, there was God sent. Yeah, yeah. I haven't mm. seen that. I haven't <laughs> dreamed like that before. I continued wherever I stopped. I mm. continued the dream. So I continued, and the name came. I saw myself. I love red. Red is my color. Okay. Mm. I wish I could handle, have everything red. Everything red, red eh? <laughs> so I saw me wearing red T-shirts with the name Clean Mama on it. And I saw the title of the what I was doing, Clean Up Party, mm -hmm. in the second dream. Okay. The continuation. So I woke up around 5.20 and then I wrote it. Back, back, back. Clean mama. So now I started creating the whole thing. Yeah. Started putting stuff in it. What will I do? What will I, do? I I was living at Kanishi then. So I spoke to my area. I said, oh, I wanted to shoot a pilot. So, okay, let's go. Let's do clean up. I sponsored everything. We did the clean up. In fact, I borrowed money. To do the shoot. Do the shoot. Okay. To throw the shoot. So I did the shoot. Now, what do I do with the shoot? Okay, I have the thing in my hand. I had a CD. Yeah. Okay. I put it under my pillow. I was just praying over it. Where should I take this, God? Who sponsored this? Where should I take this? And something told me, go to Unilever. So I just picked it, went to Unilever, spoke to them. This is what I have. I wish you can put Omo on it or any of your products so that we do this. It's a cleaner party. The whole community comes together to clean the whole area. And our, I, I award about 10, between 10 and 20 best workers of the day. Mm. I award them for working hard. And that's it. So it's a party. We clean. I share drinks and water. We do the party. I do the awards. And then the place is clean. Uh. And then after that, after three months, I'll go and check the place. If it's still clean, we still award people. We still help people. and all that. So I spoke to them and they were like, this is a good concept. We put key soap on it. So they put key soap. So it was key soap cleanup party. So oh. we put key soap on it. They did not even look at my promo that my uh, uh, my shoot that I borrowed money. You borrowed the money to They do. did not okay. even look at it. <laughs> wow. They didn't even watch it. So they didn't even watch it. So it was clean, Mama. So that was how it happened. So I did it for about almost seven seasons. About 10, 12 years ago. From 2010 to about 20. No, from 2010 to 2012. Mm. Wow. And then I did another one for the government. You know, when Mahama said we should do um, um, yeah, clean up every yeah, first Saturday. Yeah. The first Saturday of the month. Okay, so mm. they called me. It was with Zoom Lion. So they had a company called Zoom Alliance. Yeah. So they called me and they, give me, they gave me some of the places to go show on TV. So I did that one too for some time. And that was it. So this year, I wanted to do it before COVID. And then, I don't know, COVID came. COVID yeah. came in, so so this year, I said no. Let me, because if I leave, the number I used on the screen, mm -hmm. 02777, 02777. That was the number I used then. 
for Clean Mama because the promo place on the TV, you have that number. If you are ready to clean, you call that number okay. and then we come and then you clean. And then we record it and put on TV once every week. So if I put that number here right now, the calls that you will come. Ten years ago, people are still calling Clean Mama number. They call me, I pay Clean Mama. Yeah, how you feel? That be no be ba mi say one year feel. You know, someone. You know, someone. You know, I can. And then they call me Clean Mama. Eh, you you ohin ni say yemfrao. Bra ha bra sa kui. How you feel? Be sure got them. They keep calling. I'm mm. watching two a.m. One people so call Clean Mama bro. I said okay this year. Let me do it. Let's go. So I've added a new this and that I've added is that the people that I award as the best 20 workers of the day, mm -hmm. they'll become Clean Mama ambassadors. They have to take care of the area. Mm -hmm. Anybody drops something, if you can snap it, snap it, the person, send it to Clean Mama. I'll give it to the police. We have sanitation courts. It mm -hmm. has to work. Yeah. Yeah. Those courts should work. Take people there. Prosecute them. It has to. So if I'm sitting on TV and I'm watching people at the sanitation court, hey, you see, we work to we go to we got the move. You are chilling. You see, we went to a thousand Ghana. Mm. Hey, you see, we were to we were going. You see, we went to a we got them three months. Me no pure water. I'm doing some bagging because you don't know who is watching. Yeah. Yeah. So that those things will stop. So now yeah. the people who are going to be the clean mama ambassadors will take care of the area. After every three months, every thirteen episodes, I'll go back to check if the place is still clean. We still have awards for you. If it's not clean, I'll record it, put it on TV, say, Yeah, but how you be clean up and then she got the num my idea why. That's that's a very good thing. And of yeah. course, the influence of people like you, um, as your stars, these are some of the initiatives that you know uh, people would want to see yeah. uh, from you. So it's a good thing. So um twenty twenty three, what's the plan now? So that's that's no, that's what I'm doing that's now. What doing yeah. now. Okay. I'm starting from so continuous Yes, it continues to December. Okay. I'm doing six months okay. for this year. Okay. That's 26 episodes for okay. this year. So people have started calling me because I've put it on social media mm. and all that. So people have started calling. So we are shooting uh, Russia, Russia Road on 6th May. We are doing Sawam on 29th April. We are, we are, people are calling. Tema well, is calling. Well, 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 Winnie okay. It's the whole Ghana, so okay. we are going everywhere. So when the calls come in, is there? Yeah. Right. Should bring it to you. See, you see, you see. You see. And you know what? Uh, you know what? Uh, my sponsor, the headline sponsor mm. for this is Unilever. Of okay. course. Putting key soap on mm. it. Yeah. Your key soap is Aman Sambo Afo. Yeah. It's Amugu soap. And of course, Zoom and, Lion is And another yeah. sponsor mm. is uh, Zoom Lion. Yeah. yeah. They are behind me solidly. Yeah. All the nose masks, the gloves that I'm using, mm. track that will come for the rubbish and all that. Mm. All the tricycles are from, from Zoom, Zoom Lion. Lion. Yeah. Big time. The, mm. the 10 years ago, Zoom Lion was behind. Serious. Yeah. And this year too, they are on board. Yeah. Oh, wow. And then I have malaria. Malaria Elimination Program people, okay. National Malaria Elimination yeah. from uh, Ghana Health Service, okay. who are also on board because they want me to talk about the female anopheles mosquito that transmits malaria, where they breed and all that. Beautiful. So they are also on board. Beautiful. And so when, they, when the calls come in, you, you, you don't pick or maybe they, you, people will do a raffle. But you don't do that. You just schedule when we can you get schedule. time. Okay. That's okay. If you, because somebody called me from Tema an assembly woman mm -hmm. who really wanted 29th of April, but I told her it's booked. It's booked. You have to okay. take another date. Yeah. But so no matter just, what, you go there and you. If, if they take the date and the date is it's there, okay it's not them. booked, I'll go. Okay. She wants That's to book it. you for her uh, Adenta, please. <laughs> Adenta, some people called me from Medina yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> but until you are called, you don't really move until you receive oh, that a call from Yeah, me. because you see, people should be ready to clean their yeah. own environs. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, tell, I tell them, I'm not, clean mama is not coming to clean the place for you. Right. Mm. Yeah. You yeah. will clean. You I'm just yourself. coming to help with drinks and water, with yeah. music, we dance, we drink. It will we be fun. Party. Yeah. And then by the end of the day, we finish collecting everything. And you make sure you keep the place neat. Mm. And I give the cleanest home award mm. in that vicinity. Okay. Enter That's nice. home. Uh, if your home is the, your rubbish place is fine, your yeah. bin, your if even if not, it's not cemented, Krana, what proper yeah. fine, everything yeah. is neat. Nice. Yeah. Your bathroom, everything, I give you an award. How about getting in some of your colleagues, you know, once in a while to just pass through? Yeah, 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 I, I'll do that. Yeah, I that's, think, that's, I think, yeah. 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 yeah just so maybe the woman from Adenta, I mean, this is from Adenta. Yeah, we'll go to Yeah, I'm scared of the place. But somebody has called me, Ashama, yeah, Ashama. 
Is it, do you have a summer new town or yes, summer? Yes, there's new town. Yeah, Make sure your there area. Oh, there's that oh, place. Oh, there's also, there's no, no, there's your area. Oh, there's Bethlehem. There's two Laku. There's Laku. 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 Do you know how I come to Shaman? Jaman, no, me, I see Jaman. Oh. I didn't know Jaman boom. We need to see the Jaman. So, I shaman there. Yeah. They, said, they said he's actually at Kakasunanka. Kakasunanka. Yes. Charlie <laughs> organized. Me, ba, me, ba, ho. Yeah. Me, ba, ho. I, I, also, I didn't tell you. On my way, I shaman for bed. I didn't tell you that's a flat, no. Oh, my God. 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 Oh, Charlie, Charlie, Charlie. That's that's nice. That's a that's a good one. Good one. I think we've got uh, just a few minutes yeah. to, to wrap it up. Yeah. Um okay. and it's been nice talking to you, you know, getting to share the experience. Um we asked this question um about students. Okay. I mean back to industry stuff, okay. before we wrap up. Okay. Students at the School of Performing Arts. Yeah. Some of them do complain that producers do not get to them. You know, rather, if someone puts up on social media with no acting background, yeah. okay. they're like, oh, Charlie Banabe Act TV. Meanwhile, they have gone to school with the knowledge True. to do yeah. all of that. Okay. And, and I'm sure, I mean, with your yeah. experience, that's yeah. how you got also in yeah. there. Yeah. I think that producers don't know them. Mm. You see, producers go with those people they see on, on, on screen, on mo in movies, mm. you know, so that if I'm writing a script or I'm coming to produce a script, I want this person, this person, because I know them. I know what they can do. I know the acting, this thing. So it's just that maybe... Performing arts students, they are just at, at the performing arts. Mm -hmm. They do stage, mostly yeah. stage. Yeah. If I'm coming to do a stage production and I want, I want cast, I want people, I'll go to performing That's arts to pick go. them. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. But if I want to do a movie, I won't go there. Maybe I'll, 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 I might maybe go to Nafti, maybe to look. Uh -huh. But I'll not go to performing arts because they are mainly stage actors. Yeah. You yeah. know, so uh -huh. they have to, I don't know how, they have to get to some of these get movie to, houses yeah. and mm -hmm. let them know. Or if there are auditions, yeah, they have they to go, go to the audition. Go and then they perform and then that's it. Somebody like Ajete is mm. from performing arts. Yeah. Dom Dumelo is from performing yeah. arts. Definitely, they went for auditioning and they mm. were seen and, and that it and it goes. Yeah. So they need to look out for auditions and go for the auditioning and prove your worth and then the producer will take you from there. Even all your career, your life has been out there. I mean, I, I googled mm. your name before I came mm. on, on okay. set and when you go to the news part of Google, you mm -hmm. see... Of course, your relationship, okay, your daughter, yeah. all of those things. Yeah, Are you cool with that? With with all you know, like all of those. Space. No, we can't do anything about it. Yeah, mm. I can't do. You can't stop it. Yeah, yeah I celebrate it, and that's it. You are out there. You can't yeah. do anything. And my daughter Fafa is is. Both mother and father are celebrities, mm. so she's yeah, like a celebrity daughter, daughter and she yeah. cannot stop it. Exactly. You know, so yeah. we, are, we are there and that's it. You can't stop it. And I think you have the, to live with it. Yeah, the yeah. parents have, have gone through the process and they've gone through this kind of clean slate. Clean so they slate, don't so really, I yeah. don't think Fafa will be put in that situation where yeah. she'll be criticized or anything. And she no, also no. will uh, make level. sure that whatever yes. she's doing, yes. it is according that's to it. the standard that's of what mommy and daddy have so And when she was growing yeah. up, and when yeah. she was growing up, it's just that around five years, six years, mm. she just had problem in school because when she goes to school and everybody, ah, we saw your mother, she was crying on the TV. Your oh. mother was an number one, your mother, those things. We saw your father, your father said this on the radio, those things. But right now, she's a big girl. She's yeah. also. Now she's just enjoying the fame. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Thank you very much. I want to say something. Thank you. Is it okay? Oh. Uh, I want to say a very big thank you to Unilever mm. for putting key soap on it. Thank you so much for being the headline sponsor. And then to Zoom Lion for all, all this support. I love Zoom you, Lion. Zoom Lion. Our very own Zoom Our Lion. Very own Zoom Lion. Lion. Yeah. Yeah, and then to the National Malaria Elimination Program. And to one person, Mr. Robert Tete Coleman of Wembley. Hey, Astro That is it. Thank you so much for the support. <laughs> Man, Mr. Coleman, I love you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for being a brother. Thank you. Guys, Thank you for having us. We'll be back tomorrow. My name is Nanaya. I did this with Desmond and her, uh, Helen Anyoweja, aka Helen K. Enjoy the rest of our programs. <laughs>